I'm ready for glossing this skirting board. Um, <laughs> some of the brushes I'm not using are these synthetics here. And you see the state of that one, how it's worn, it's gone quite bad. Again, worn to a bit of a stump, not much use for anything now, possibly a duster brush. Uh, that's that fetch, I've only had it two weeks. Look at that, splayed. Rubbish, absolute rubbish. These soft tips, they never stay soft because they wear down, the bristle changes. So, they're the pure bristle brushes, obviously, they're the synthetics. I've had that, this one a while now, still in really good condition. And this one, perfect for glossing. Worn down nicely. Again, that's a pure bristle. Just lasts so much longer. So the gloss I'm going to be putting on is this Valspar. Really good stuff. What I've been doing, first of all, with a bucket of warm soapy water, been wiping the skirting board off, removing any black marks from the vacuum cleaner with the sandpaper and just makes it easier to coat up. Yeah. Good for nothing now that. Maybe getting around the backs of radiators and stuff, but that and while I'm here, I did eventually do some filling. Just matched up this corner here with the rest of this. And this edge, there was a crack. The customer asked me to have a look at it. Mainly because this side was a lot neater. And just bring it in. So I masked off the wood. Run a little bit of foam in, just here and there, just the odd spot. And then Put me polyfiller in. Well, that's okay there. So skirting board is going to be pretty straightforward. No tape. Yeah, I do find that these have been scrubbing it a bit too much now. I'll keep them a bit longer, possibly for emulsion paint. But it's no good for this now anymore. These I'm keeping for my oil, so I've got myself some new brushes, emulsion brushes, pure bristle. These are a good brush. I will only be using inch and a half on this, it's not a very big area. Before I use them, just give them a, a, a wash. Good to go. Although I did use masking tape on this, and as soon as the filler went in, while the filler was still wet, took all the tape off. And just cut that free hand. As you can see, a lot of it is not straight. So they won't be a problem. Obviously, before I start glossing my skirting boards, I'm glossing my doors, the casings. Not a bad sheen on that at all. Like any water-based gloss, not easy to apply, you just got to get it on and leave it. 
another tip I've got my two inch brush on this is as you're working away I've finished the door there now but just to help keep this brush working right just periodically give it a wash out just clean it off spin it out ready to go again also I find these handles can be a little bit slippy so all I did was get some um, rough sandpaper on it and just go over the handle a bit more grippier now Good to go again.